Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be going over the NHL slate for this evening, uh, Monday, October 30th. We're going to be looking at my sheets to try to make a handbuild lineup, and then we're also going to use SaberSim to build a portfolio of 50. The sheets that we're referring to are available usually on uh, TrueDFS for just premium subscribers, but we're going to show you these in these videos. Uh, and SaberSim is available to TrueDFS subscribers as well, or separately on the side. Um, again, plenty of ways to skin a cap, plenty of ways to play and be profitable at DFS. I'm going to show you two different ways to approach this slate. Now it's a it's a big slate in that, you know, they're offering a decent amount of money for first. So you're going to get a lot of competition from people with the contest sims and the and uh, just overall better players, but we're up for the challenge. First thing I want to do is just take a look at the team totals for the slate. And then we're going to go into the sheets, make a hand up lineup. So first thing I'll notice is Who's over four here? Uh, Pittsburgh is a 4.1 implied team total. You have Dallas, 3.9. Vegas, 3.8. Those are the, the highest ones in this Boston at 3.5. So I would imagine, ooh, and Tampa's 3.5. So you would imagine that that's where, you know, the majority, not the majority, but, but a, you know, a decent amount of the good plays would be coming from if salary were a thing. Um, salary is a thing, so we're going to see how that all plays out. All right, let's take a look at the sheets here. And uh, as you may have uh, seen last time, we have a new tool that we developed uh, dealing with stacks. And we're going to look at that in a minute. So first thing you'll notice, I'm rating these guys again by sheets value score. And the first thing I do notice is, is Pasternak is, is significantly ahead of the other, the other uh, players. Um, and the problem is, is that it's usually not the best idea to pay a good amount of money for a one-off. So we're probably going to, you know, probably be pretty risky and either play a, what could be a, I don't want to say chalky stack, but expensive stack, we'll say that, or just risk the best play on the board, just kind of avoiding us. Uh, next thing I notice is, again, what we're trying to find are players from the same team that rate high. Again, very, you know, low level stuff to start off. We'll get to the higher level stuff as we get through the, the analysis. And I see that Brian Rust is 5,500 and Gwensel is 7K. Now, I'm pretty sure, though, that this line thing is wrong. I think Gwensel is now on – I think he's on the second line, though. I'm not sure. Um, but we have to look at that. But these two guys rated really close to each other, playing together. And then you see Sidney Crosby, 7,800. Malkin at 7,200. He's on the power play line as well. So this Pittsburgh power play line looks to be, uh, you know, looks 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 really good. But again, they're they're pretty expensive, right? Fifty five hundred, seven k, seventy two hundred, seventy eight hundred. Now we're going to see if we can get them in, but but uh, I'm pessimistic. The next one I see are the Vegas guys. So you have Eichel at seventy five hundred, Shea Theodore, defenseman, and then March Assault. So all these are on the top line. So this isn't bad for kind of a three-man to get things started. Um, but no real value per se yet. This Anaheim, they get this Leo Carlson every time as a real cheapo. Um, and there's never anybody to pair him with. But it's fine. We'll, we'll keep him as, as a, as a one-off for now. Then you see Bjorkstrand, not a lot of Seattle guys. Clayton Keller. All right, so you have a couple of Arizona guys, I suppose, but only two. Then you get down to the Islanders down here. This is tough. It looks to be probably a tough, uh, a tough uh, hand built slate. Probably are going to need to play something like Carlson as a one off, and maybe even something like Atkinson as a one off to make all this work. Let's just see. Let's pull up a, a lineup uh, thing on DraftKings, and let's build something. So let's let's I let's not even get greedy. Let's not even try to do the boss. Let's do the um, let's do the let's do the Vancouver. Well, let's 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 try Pittsburgh, and right? that'll be probably chalky, but let's we'll do it anyway. 
Pittsburgh. So we're going to have Crosby, Malkin, Gwensel, Rust. So those four. Before we do anything else, let's find a goalie that's cheap. Because we're going to need one. Uh, Ettinger, 8,500, not cheap. Jerry, 8,300, not cheap. Uh, Igor, so far, the best one. Johansson. Yeah, there's not a lot of good cheap goalies here. Uh, Carter Hart, I mean, why not? 7,300. Let's see who's he up against. That's fine. We'll put in Carter Hart for now. What does that leaves us? It leaves us with thir only 3,800 a man because of all the money we're spending on these Pittsburgh guys, which is a little annoying. I mean, so we'd have to, first of all, we'd have to play that uh, Carlson dude. And then even that might not be. And now we need, well, we could do it. What we probably should do if we want to play this way is make a stack around this Anaheim thing. And by the way, it's, it's it's not lost on me that this is part of the same game. So this could be this could be a game stack sort of. So let's just see at four thousand a man if there are a couple of cheapos like from Anaheim or in general that we could play with him. Um, first of all, let's go back up to the top here and and we'll we'll note Bjorkstrand at thirty five hundred. Uh, that's very cheap. Let's put him in for now. So now we can do this if we can get defensemen from either Pittsburgh, Seattle, or Anaheim. So let's see what these look like. That would be nice. Uh, this breaks them here. Let's see. Anaheim, there it is. Power play line. Or Carlson is too expensive. So Pavel Mintyukov Min, 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 on the first power play line, 3,900. Or where's that Seattle guy we always like to play? I guess none of them. So there's no Seattle guy on the power play? Let's, let's, let's see who's on the Seattle power play. We need to look at the stack tool yet. Um, so Adam Larsey, they don't even keep a defense. Oh, Justin Schultz. So if we put Justin Schultz over here, and now we now we have a 5K defense. Now we could probably play, I don't know if we could play a Pittsburgh guy, but let me see something. Who's the other guy on the power play line, the first power play? Yeah, so it would be, unfortunately, Carlson. So we'd have to save 1300 elsewhere. That, that wouldn't work. What about – can't play another Seattle defenseman. What about an Anaheim defenseman on that power play line? Or the Minchikov. Okay, so let's put him in first. Pavel, Minchikov. So this is plenty. We can actually now move up in goalie if we want to do that. So now we're playing a five, a four, two, two, two Seattles, two Anaheims, and four Pittsburghs. Probably better to replace one of these with somebody else, right? So, but this is such a good price on Bjorkstrand. Right, let's be a little different. Um, we'll we'll just keep this the way it is, and then you can move up to a better goalie. We looked at uh, well, we can't play Jerry because that's against uh, Ulmer's really solid. So you can do something like this. Okay. Now let's take a look at the at the stacks uh, the stack tool. It's not even a tool; it's just a display, really. But all right. So here is the stacks, and again. These rate the stacks similarly to the way we did it in baseball. You want to just see who was, you know, which which stack projected to score the most fantasy points. We look here under raw stacks, and Pittsburgh kind of stands out. All these guys that I mentioned earlier, by the way. And then it's Boston, Vegas, Dallas, the guys with the highest team total. Tough one. 
If you just wanted to see what stack was the best from a just point per dollar perspective, you would search by value stack and then you get to the Seattle's, okay? Um, and you also see Dallas, by the way. And it is sort of rare for the Dallas. Now it's different guys. Okay, so one's the, I think the, uh, the, the line two and the other's line one. And when you look at modified stack, that's when you're basically doing it by sheets value score. And then once again, we're getting to Pittsburgh, Vegas, Dallas. Okay, so um, this is another way of saying that Pittsburgh looks really good. <laughs> you want to know the truth. And it also is another way of saying that Seattle looks pretty good from a value perspective. So, so far, we're doing the right thing. here. Uh, playing Pittsburgh, filling it in with the Se Anaheim one-offs, playing some Seattles. Okay, I think that makes some sense. All right, let's go to Saberson now and make some uh, lineups using uh, using that. So we're going to first upload our um, projections to Saberson. Save, and then we will build 50 lineups. Okay, now in the meanwhile, when that's happening, we will set our contest sim settings just in case we want to play this way. Uh, payout structure for the kick save. Kick save. It's nice to save, have all these settings for you. And you know, what, we're what this is attempting to do is create a field of lineups to compare your lineups to to see if you're getting enough leverage, pretty much. And then, and then uh, Monday Ice, this is the bigger one. So I'd like to look at these in two ways. First, before we apply the contest sims, and once after, and then we can just pick, honestly, which you feel more, more comfortable with. So if we just kind of left this here, just without any adjustments, other than the fact that we built it using, you know, Sabre score, which is already pretty good. First thing you'll notice is stack exposure. About 40% of the lineups are six for, or onslaughts. I presume that's going to be Pittsburgh, but I don't know. Look at this. All these Dallases down here. Let's see. Team stacks. Wow. All the Dallas. That is not what I was expecting. So now we'll run the contest sims, and then we'll compare. So, again, remember what we're trying to accomplish here. We're trying to compare our lineups to basically the field of lineups that are expected for the particular contest we're in and pick the lineups that rate to have the best return on investment given what the field is likely to do. Now, again, there's a lot of assumptions in there, but Saberson does a pretty good job creating these fields and it's better than I can do and it's better than nothing. So let's, uh, let's do this. So let's sort this by the kick save risk adjusted ROI and see what we come up with. So the first thing that you'll notice is that I'm getting 100% Columbus. Um, and don't don't ask why. Don't blame me. This is what the the contest sim uh, tool does um, to apply your lineups against what they believe the field is going to do. So uh, next thing I would do, by the way is I would uh, put min uniques two, maybe try to smooth that. Now you only get 98% Columbus. And then, so the stack exposure, five twos, four twos. I would probably get rid of some of the uh, the four twos, almost all of them, and the three two twos and the four zeros and stuff like that. Um, so here you have like two different approaches and two different sets of lineups you can use. You can either, um, you know what you could do? This is fun. If you want, you could use your top 25. Let's, let's build 25. Watch this. We'll get rid of the five zeros, get rid of the four zeros, get rid of the four twos. Four zeros, four twos. Get rid of these. Get rid of these. Four zero. Okay. Three, two, two, we don't want any of those. We don't want any three threes. We'll keep a couple of three, three, twos just for posterity. 
And now let's see how that changes it. Um, now you're still at 100%. So what we could do, you know, if you, if you don't want to fight City Hall, I'll take the top 25 lineups from here. We'll do Min Uniques 3, okay? And then what we'll do is we will save these to our favorites. We're not going to save it to the contest yet. We'll save it to our favorites. This little star does it right there. See, it puts it in favorites. It's because then what I want to do is I want to go back to the Saber score lineup builds, where right? all these all these uh, Dallases, and I'm going to add those 25 to the favorites as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to use 25 of the lineups that were generated from the contest sims and 25 that were generated from just regular Saber score. Let's see what that whole portfolio looks like. You know, and then what we'll do, we will upload those to the template, which I already did. So we'll save these to kick save. Boom. The next thing I want to do is I want to go back. And look at the contest sim data for the uh, Thursday night ice. So let's resort these by uh, where is this Monday night ice? I, I bet Monday night ice. You'll see the top rated lineup is going to be a Dallas uh, onslaught against Columbus. And it's kind of interesting, right? One set of lineups is all Dallas, the other one's Columbus. So this is a full on game stack attack. Um, so let's uh, let's do that. Let's uh, put these guys in. Just the, just the top lineup. And uh, and it's like something to start with. So as we get closer to lock, the projections will change, but the process will sort of stay the same, you know? Um, so I want you guys to see that. Let's watch me upload these. And... we're in so to me it's looking like while pittsburgh looks like the best stack the actual ones we're going to play the most are probably columbus and dallas but again things can change i encourage you to, to you know use this process on your own and uh listen if you want i'm going to be going live a little later but i don't know if we're gonna have time to go over the nhl because we're gonna be stuck in nba mode tonight which i hate anyway that'll do it everybody good luck